Hey guys, it's Riley here with Learn With Me. And I'm out here back in the cold and uh, I'm gonna cut back my zinnias uh, right here just cause got some extra time and I'm trying to get my uh, fall garden prepared. So let's get to it. As you can see, I've already started. Got some right here. So, what I'm going to do, and uh, what you're advised to do, is really not really pull up anything because you don't want to mess with the soil. And uh, you really just want to kind of cut it back all the way down to the bottom. So, I'm going to cut these back bit by bit just so that I can, uh, they can be in smaller bits for my compost, and then I'll just go from there but um, yeah but yeah what I mean so what I mean by cutting it into smaller bits is that you know you don't there's no right or wrong way to do pruning um, what you're really gonna do is just kind of come over here just kind of cut that looks like a tomato, dead tomato plant here too you can cut the main branches you're gonna want to cut it down to the root. I think zinnias come back every year. Yeah, I think zinnias come back every year, but yeah. Then I'm gonna just cut it different points. Gotta be careful of this cord here that connects my solar, my lights over here, as you can see through my little fence hoop house. I haven't already posted a video about that. Uh, there will be one soon. using my fence for the hoop house. But yeah, that's really all there is to it. But yeah, you guys, um, these are my shears. It's a pretty good pair. And so I think I th did a video about how I got these on sale from Dollar Tree for like a couple bucks as opposed to like 10 to 15. But they're really high quality and they really make a good fine cut. All right, you guys, this is the current progress. Yeah, I cut it back as far as I could, or at least temporarily. I might still go up and clean up a few other sections, but otherwise, uh, we're gonna leave the soil undisturbed. I might try to overwinter that basil. All right, you guys. But yeah, you guys, um, and that was just kind of a short video, just kind of show you what I'm doing with that. Um, I'm cutting that back just so that the roots, if the plant does intend to die, it will uh, actually provide nourishment for the soil and kind of return it back to itself without having to worry about it uh, ruining, uh, without ruining and messing with that whole like system down there. Um, but if it is a perennial like that is, and this place isn't too cold for it, it should just come back. And that, if anything, like that's just extra weight for it and extra ways so for it to store disease if I leave it up like that. So like I said, as always, like, subscribe. Uh, really appreciate you guys uh, and your support and comments. So comment as much as you can, like as much as you can, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay breezy.